Hello everybody. We're going to turn a drum here. I'm going to show you the process of, of uh, turning one of these drums here. But this is a uh, this is a before drum turn and then this is an after it's turned. Um, well this one before we're turning it, it may look alright to you, you, you know, when you do rear brakes. But uh, Believe me, it's got high and low spots in these drums. Anytime you do rear brake shoes, you need to go ahead and have these drums machined out and turned. Or else I almost guarantee you 90% of the time it's gonna cause a uh, squeak noise coming from your rear. Let me uh, show you how to set this up and machine it down. Okay, this is the brake lathe. That I'm going to be using this as an Amco uh, brake lathe. Now, I, I've got it set up for just to do drums. Uh, I can switch it over to do rotors, but I have a another machine over here that does uh, brake rotors. This is my junk room, so this room is is a uh, this is dirty back here. Almost ashamed to even film it. This is where I do the press work and grinding and Keep a lot of uh, oh, special tools back there on that shelf. Just keep all my junk back here. All the kids' toys back here. Or grandkids' toys. First thing we're going to do is we're going to get it set up for this drum. So we'll put a cup on it. A spring with a cone. This cone will go in the center of this drum. This will center it up when we clamp it down. The spring will keep pressure on this cone to keep it centered. Slide that on, slide the cone on, slide the drum on. Put a cup here on the outside. Spacer. Tighten it down. sure it's centered. Then we'll turn this thing on. You look at this drum, make sure it's stuck. the drum is not wobbling like this right here. That would tell us that it's not centered in, it's not clamped down good. We'd have to make adjustments on that. This looks pretty good here. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to move this, this whole shaft with this drum on it, we're going to move it back towards this cutting head, uh, cutting blade right here. And we're going to go move this in. Let me go around here to the other side and move that in. Move this in. I'll probably go about center ways because I want to find zero on this uh, drum. So I'll, I'll move this cutting head, I'll start moving it out to that uh, uh, cutter. It starts contacting the inside edge of that uh, drum face. A little too much, that's okay. Now that we got that, then I'll go ahead and I'll run my drum in all the way. And I'll adjust this out a little. These are in millimeters here. Now I've engaged it, and now it's going to start machining. Over here. It's just going 
going to machine that all down, get it nice and smooth. Now I've got, we can set the, the speed on it back here. I've got it set pretty well with where I want it at. It doesn't take very long at all to do these drums. It's a little bit longer to do rotors. Right here you might be able to see how it's, how it's looking in there. It's about halfway done now. Now, when we shut it off, if we have any more dark spots or any skip places in it, we'll have to go back and redo it again, cut some more material off of it. Alright, it's finished its turning process, so we're just going to spin it around here, see if I can get my light up here a little bit better. I'm just going to spin it around here, make sure we got the entire surface of that, looks smooth, no dark spots in it, no skip places in it, and that really looks good. Well, that's basically it. Um, it gets the chattering too much. You can put one of these uh, dampener bands on it, around it, to help on the chatter. Usually the large rotors or drums will need to do that. But that's basically it. You don't know how much that would help you on your brake, your rear brakes. You're putting rear brake shoes on it just getting them smooth that way your entire rear brake shoes will contact this when you hit the brake and eliminate any squeaky noises that you probably will get if you don't do this uh, believe me I've done gosh I don't know how many drum brakes and I try to sometimes somebody wants it done cheap as possible and they just want to put brake shoes on it nothing else and you can hear a squeak noise, squeal noise coming from it. We're not doing that. <laughs>